Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you very much for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you're new here, we have a lot of fun here, do a lot of silly stuff, and then we try and learn a thing or two along the way. So, in my last video, I was on number three of these Evan Rude Johnson 3035 set net skiffs. I saved the best for last, which of course I mean is the worst. But in the last video, the recoil, it was broke. We fixed that. Then I said, you know, I'm just going to see what will happen if it, if I can get it to start. We did a fax check. We did have a uh, good spark on it. We checked the spark. We had good compression. No, I take that back. We had low compression. Very heavy use compression. I got, I think it was 70 bottom cylinder, 85 top. That's not the best. But the engine has been sitting for a while. So I sprayed some tri-flow into the cylinders. This has oil in it as well as a good pop starter. Then I redid the numbers, um, and they came up to just about 90 each. And this happens a lot, especially on this, this, these 25 through 35s of the mid-80s and so forth. So it came up, and I said, that's probably going to be enough to, to at least make sure it's going to run and ain't no heavy knocks or lash problems or anything in it. So...
Well, you know, before we go on with this Evan Rude 35, uh, been a lot of comments down in the comment section on my last couple of videos. Hey, Cody Bass, do you hear it? BRP is shutting down Evan Rude. Yep, that's a fact. Um, good old Evan Rude is no more, from what I understand. Um, I don't have any insides, people, or anybody I know. Um, uh, I know there's at least two individuals that subscribe to my channel who probably do have a little inside information on it. Uh, but I only know what I've read on the internet and their statements. and. Uh, they said because of the COVID stuff, dealerships were having hard times and the whole thing, and they, BRP, uh, wanted to turn their stuff over to production of their other marine equipment, boats, sea doos ski doos um, and whatever else they make, I don't know. But either way, it's sad. Um, so, so long, Evan Root. You had a good run, though. And uh, I sure will miss them. I was looking forward to some uh, really neat stuff coming out on that uh, G2 series E-Tech style stuff. And I think there still will be in that technology. Who does it? I don't know, but I think there still will be. So salute to an old beat up Evan Rude like this one here that can hang in there for 30, 40 years and still keep providing work for somebody. Um, it's a testament. To how just how tough and well built they were um, so some of the best for sure Some spark action on the bottom there. So 
So, she is tired and beat for sure. At least. Get you back over here. All righty. That's one tired, 35. But the throttle stiff, the riser going up to the bell crank that advances the magneto, which opens the cam roller, which opens the butterfly, all stiff. So we fixed the recoil, we cleaned up a carbonator. she'll start, she'll run, she'll pee, she'll shift. It would not be cost effective for me to do anything else to this one. The other two run good, they could use this one in a pinch, but uh, all that tiller handle, throttle, all that stuff needs to come off there. Um, loose ground wires everywhere, arcing and sparking. Looks like I got that taken care of. Um, broke recoil rope. One of the transom clamps is seized. Not cost effective to, to take this one any further than that. They can use it. Um, the other two run very well in comparison to this one. But I'm not going to do no more to that one. That's, uh, that's all I'm going to do because with what his bill is right now, if I were him, I would want... Would, want to spend no additional money on this motor. To do that throttle handle setup and all that. Um, motor mounts on it, just a little bit of a shot. Um, new motor mounts, tiller handle, all that stuff. Just too much money for that engine in that condition. It's just, it's at that point. It, it's at the point to where you finish using it up. So, you're probably saying, well, what's going to be next? Well, let me show you here, because I don't know if I showed you these motor mounts. Just slop. Just slop. So what's going to be next? Well, believe it or not, I have to do things like that. 
I don't like doing things like that. But I also have to do things like that. <sighs> yeah. Um, and then I have to do things like that so and I don't film that kind of stuff this guy here um, I told you I wanted to get on that motor next and that will be the next one in my tank that Suzuki DT 42 stroke 2 cylinder single copper Renata will be the next one but this guy the red salmon, the sockeye salmon are just starting to run. And uh, this guy's been a good customer. He wants the lower unit oil changed and a new water pump impeller. And so, um, so my next one will be a combination of this Yamaha there. And the Suzuki. DT40. So, things are turning green. Flowers in the pots are blooming. It's still kind of cloudy today, but things are greening up. And if the sun pops out at all, I got to get them mowing some grass too. So, we are done with number three. Number three. Sorry about that. So, that's going to be a wrap on part two of the, the Three Amigos. Yes, that will be a wrap on us on the Three Amigos. Understand us. I speak it in Spanish. Um, yeah, that'll be a wrap on them. We'll be doing some lower unit. We'll be doing some whatever that DT40 Suzuki needs. Um, I pulled it over. It does turn over. And I did the throttle. It does twist. So hopefully if there ain't nothing, no surprises in it, that'll be a good runner. But uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one. And I want to say a big thank you um, for watching. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe and all that stuff. I'll see you later. Stay tuned, more vids are coming on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.